mistakes that other people have made. So today I'm going to show you how to avoid common auto repair mistakes. Now it's great if you change your own oil and filter, but here's a mistake I've seen destroy engines. When you remove the old oil filter, make sure that this rubber gasket is still on the old filter. Because sometimes the old gasket comes off when you take the filter off and sticks onto the engine. And you won't see it sticking on the engine because the oil filter is usually in a hidden location. Like this Toyota, it's hidden down here. You can screw it in, but you can't see what you're doing. So if there's a gasket stuck on there, you might miss it. So be sure to check your old one to make sure that the old gasket is still on when you take it off. Because if the old gasket is stuck on the engine and you put another one on top of it, you'll double gasket it and the oil will leak. I've seen engines blow up because of this. And of course, remember, before you put the new filter on, put a little oil on your finger and put oil all around the gasket so it seals and doesn't leak. Then when you put the new filter on, not only will it not leak, but it'll be easier to take off the next time. Now another common mistake I've seen cost people a lot of money is leaving the battery connected when electrical work is done. So whenever you're doing electrical work on a car, disconnect one of the cables and take it off the battery. That way you won't short any electrical parts out like this. Let's say you're working on the alternator. Well, if it's got live power and this wire touches anything, it can short the alternator and the wiring of the car out. But if you've taken off one of the battery cables, there's no more power flowing through the system and you can't hurt anything. Now you might think, oh, I'm careful, this isn't gonna happen to me, but hey, one little mistake, you can run a $1,500 computer. It's a lot easier just taking one of the battery cables off and putting it back on when you're done working. Now the next common mistake I see concerns changing out spark plugs. Never change out spark plugs on an engine that's hot. Wait until the engine has cooled down. Modern cars have aluminum heads, which is very soft. Over the years, I've had to re-thread many of these heads and sometimes had to replace them. So if you're planning on changing your spark plugs, hey, do it first thing in the morning or wait a couple hours until the engine is cooled down so you don't do any damage. And if you want to do the job right, put some anti-seize lubrication on the threads of the spark plug before you put it back in the engine. Now the last common mistake I'm going to talk about is motor oil. Some people think that a heavier weight oil is better for their engine, like a 20 weight 50, instead of a 10 weight 40. Well, guess what? That's not true. Always look at your car and see what they suggest to use. In this Toyota it says use 10 weight 30 oil. So that's what you should use because a lighter oil will flow better which is really important for overhead cam engines. In overhead cam engines the cam is in the top of the engine and if you use a heavier oil it can take longer for that heavy oil to get to the cam so the cam will wear out faster. So in this case, using a heavier 20 weight 50 oil can actually make the engine wear out faster. And the last thing anything wants is an engine that wears out faster. You want them to last as long as possible. So just stick with the oil that's suggested on the engine. In this case, it's 10W30. So now you know how to save yourself a lot of grief and avoid these common auto repair mistakes. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com and I'll answer them.